For this video, I'm going to be going over some terms that you'll need for our systems unit. So first, a system. A system is a group of parts that work together to perform a certain task. My first example is going to be a can opener. And if you think about how a can opener works, you're, you turn one thing, other mechanisms start to work to perform the task of opening up a can so that you can get food, right? That would be an example of a system. There are two types of systems, a natural system and a human-made system. So a natural system occurs naturally, so like the solar system or the digestive system in your body. Human-made are made by human beings. An example would be mechanical systems, electrical systems. They're often based on the type of energy that they use. They're called like appliances, devices, utensils, tools, uh, etc. We think about it, it's uh, an example would be cars. Um, and the idea of a human made system is something that's made to improve our quality of life or to do something more efficiently. So if we go back to the can opener example, um, being able to store food is an innovation and using cans as a way of storing food. But in order to get into that can, uh, there were different ways of doing that. We would have these, uh, kind of can opener things that would just put holes in them and then it got to the part where we could take off the entire lid. So we create these systems that make our lives more efficient. Another example would be cars. If we think about, we researched back in time about how cars began and all of the innovations and changes that have been made to the car as a system, it's become more efficient um, and helps us do way more things in our life. And we've gotten to the point where cars now have so much technology in them that they can drive themselves. So systems will often change as well over time and improve. There are also social systems. So this is instead of a group of parts, this is a group of organisms that work together to perform a task. And again, there are natural social systems and there are human made social systems. So natural systems are things like bee colonies, wolf packs, ant colonies, where each part of uh, that social system has a role and they work together to perform a certain task. Human main systems, if you think about health system, waste management, or like an orchestra, you think of these are people that are brought together to perform a certain task to make an entire system work, all right? Um, we've been thinking about indigenous communities, so indigenous peoples and their clan system, that idea of when you are a part of a certain uh, clan, you have a certain role or function within your community, and then all of those clan identities come together to help that social system um, of uh, that First Nation. Within every system, there are subsystems. And so those are the certain mechanisms that change one type of force, energy, motion, or action into another. So um, I'm doing something and the, the so applying force to the handles of the can opener cause the mechanisms within the can opener to close down on the can. Turning the force used to turn that handle causes those, the teeth to kind of spin around the top of the can. So those are those, you know, mechanisms within a system that allow it to work. Um, we think about the human body and we think about the organ systems within the human body. You know, there's lots of sm um, smaller mechanisms, smaller aspects of uh, an entire system that allow the system to function properly. Just think about the digestive system and all the parts and the different jobs they have um, in making that system work. All right, so over time through industry, sorry, through innovation and progress, we've developed industries around these systems. So the, an industry is that combination of systems working together to get things done. And there are a, sort of those physical and social systems to coming together. So if you think about construction, the construction industry, there are tools, equipment, machines that are involved in actual construction, digging holes, building homes, lifting things, pouring things, mixing things. But there are also social systems in place, um, land surveyors, real estate, uh, the people that are involved in making that system work, right? So that would be an industry. In a system, there are always inputs, outputs, and side effects. So an input is everything that goes into the system to make it work, and the output is the task or service that's provided by the system. So if I think about a bicycle, a bicycle is a system that's created, um, it's that innovation that's created to for transportation, to get a person from one place to another. And um, so the input is my force, 
on those pedals, me, you know, um, moving my bicycle. And the output is the movement of that bicycle from one place to another. So input, the force that I apply moving those pedals, the output is the movement of the bike and getting it to me to a certain location. Side effects are those unintended outcomes. So that's not the purpose of the service. Uh, it's not the outcome that was intended or what it was created for. Um, but there is, a, there is an outcome that you don't necessarily want. So I want you to think about growing a garden. And so um, the output of a garden would be flowers, fruits, vegetables, and we can understand why that system is in place of, of um, having a, growing a garden. I want you to think about all the inputs that would be in place to building a garden. You have to have water, you have to have energy, you have to have uh, um, uh, temperature and climate, and there's lots of things that come into play to growing an effective garden. Now, if I want to keep insects off of my garden, I might use a pesticide. And if I'm not knowledgeable and I don't have the awareness, I might use a pesticide that, yeah, it's great for um, protecting my plants and making sure I have an abundance of fruits and vegetables that are the output of my garden, but those pesticides might then go into the soil and go into the water system. They might poison animals. Um, they might uh, kill off insects that are needed. That would be an example of a side effect or an unintended outcome of that system.